Time now for Talking Pictures with Tony. While we're waiting for new movies to hit theaters, there's still a lot you can watch at home. And you can even learn a few things when you do. Film Craig Tony Toscano reviews two compelling documentaries and a Disney Plus educational series. Thanks, Brian. Good morning. New on Disney Plus is the informational and educational series Weird But True. It enlightens viewers to all kinds of interesting facts about all kinds of subjects. Look at this big guy. This is an Allosaurus. Weird But True, most states have their very own state fossil. And the Allosaurus is the state fossil of Utah. Charlie, come here. Did you know you can touch the bones here? That's crazy. My hand is on a fossil that is 149 million years old. The show is hosted by Charlie Engelman and Carly Ciarochi. What are you learning from this show? I am learning absolutely everything. Uh, the episode that premieres this morning is at, or today is our dinosaurs episode. And what I can tell you about dinosaurs that I didn't know before is that <laughs> they did not roar. They cooed like pigeons. There was an experimental chef who discovered a way to cook an entire Thanksgiving dinner in the dishwasher. And I thought that was uh, one of the more surprising ones that I came across while writing the show. Weird But True is a fun and exuberant science TV series aimed at kids who want to know more. Again, it's streaming on Disney Plus and gets an A. Also streaming on all video on demand platforms is House of Cardan. This new documentary focuses on fashion designer Pierre Cardan and how his vision changed the world. If I stand up, will you see it? Yeah. Okay. Because it really is it's kind of amazing. It looks like it's from today. You know, it's very important that he was the first designer to get into diversity because designers have that power to globally inspire millions of people. He created branding, basically. Absolutely. He's the reason label queens exist. He's the reason, he was the first to put a logo and a brand right here instead of back here. He said, why not let people say, this is what I'm wearing. I have taste. Yeah, but again, he was the first, you know, to, to kind of, you know, say, look, I've got a brand, I've got a label, let's use it. Yeah, yeah, and, and unashamedly so. <laughs> House of Cardan is a fascinating look at how one man's vision changed not only the fashion industry, but the world. Again, House of Cardan is streaming on all video on demand platforms. It gets an A. Finally, a new documentary about the history of bearing it all for the movies. Middle America was up in arms. There were censorship boards. Moral police. Thou shall not do this, you should not have that, no nudity, and nothing licentious or lecherous. It really is a history uh, from the 1880s, as you mentioned, you know, with Edward Moybridge. The first film ever was showing nudes. <laughs> and it was important for us to basically do this chronologically, uh, a history of in a fun and interesting way where people were going to learn something, not just see, you know, two hours of nudity. And I think the way we handled it going through the teens and the 20s and all the debauchery and all the nudity that existed before there was a Hayes Code was important to let people know about. And then, you know, the code, the production code that a lot of people don't even know existed. Jim, was there anything in the movie that surprised you? Well, the big surprise to me, and I think to a lot of people that see this documentary, is even if you know a lot about film, I think you'd be surprised how much nudity there was in the, in the, in the 1915 to 1920s. Skin, A History of Nudity in the Movies, is an educational, informative, and sterile documentary about boundaries and how and why they are pushed. Again, it's streaming on all video-on-demand platforms. It gets a B. For ABC4, I'm film critic Tony Toscano. Well, thank you, Tony. If you like Tony as much as we do, head to his page, fa his Facebook page, and like it, or Talking Pictures, or just visit his website, talkingpictures.tv.